between 3,500 and 4,000 little children, American children, will be, before the sun sets today, will be aborted in America. Some of them will cry and scream as they die, but because it's amniotic fluid going over the vocal cords, we're not going to be able to hear them. I am greatly troubled that this hearing is even necessary, and that such a law to prevent infanticide must be constructed in the United States of America at all. Many Americans have no idea that babies can even live through abortions and are often left to die. But this does happen. I know this because I was born alive in an abortion clinic after being burned in my mother's womb for 18 hours. My medical records clearly state the following. Born during saline abortion, April 6, 1977, 6 a.m., two and a half pounds. Triumphantly, I entered this world. <laughs> the only reason I am alive is the fact that the abortionist had not yet arrived at work that morning. Had he been there, he would have ended my life by strangulation, suffocation, or simply leaving me there to die. Those who wish to justify such unspeakable evil, such as leaving a baby without proper medical care to die, have become masters of the manipulation of language, intimidation, and defaming their opponents to achieve their wicked aims. As a nation, we are continuously exchanging the truth for a lie. We have neglected our soul. And what will it take for us to awaken from our numbness and indifference regarding this?